This is a painting at, uh, from Butner Orphan's home of Miss St. John. She was my second grade or third grade teacher. I can't remember. Uh, I, before I was put in Butner's, I, I did go to school. And so they put me in the appropriate grade. Uh, and so one of my first teachers was Miss St. John. And Mr. Morrow was right across the hall. I've already talked about him with the Atumbic Bum. And we painted in this class on paper, I can't remember if it was Crayolas or what, but she hung them all on the wall and uh, she pointed my painting out, my drawing or whatever it was, and said, this student is looking at things as they really are. You know, I felt so proud. I think she liked the drawing, I hope she did, and uh, it wasn't to put me above anybody uh, because times change and actually the drawings that most of the students were doing were, would be put in, could be put in certain museums and certain shows. But mine was more generic of the way I looked at things. It was more about how I saw things. But whatever she said made me feel very proud. And teachers have a lot of power because they can really influence you. And there's the uh, proverbial apple which probably wasn't there at the time. I just put that in. This painting was done in 2020. I suppose I'm one of these students here. But these drawings by the students were outstanding. I think mine would today in this time be considered generic and probably even trite. That's, I did, I did draw, and I did really look at things. I remember I used to go outside and draw trees and I would try to draw the tree just like it was. I'd draw the branches Funny things that we remember when we're going back to our childhood and trying to, you know, pick up the pieces of the puzzle and put them back together again. I'm sure it's all slightly different from this, but this gives you a general idea. And Mr. Morrow, the teacher, or Mr. Morrow, or Dr. Morrow, I, I can't remember exactly. Uh, he would tell me uh, to walk down to the office and tell him what time it was. There was a big clock on the wall. Of course, I didn't know how to tell time. And I would ask, every time I went down, what time it was, and they would show me the clock and explain to me how to tell my own time. So I learned how to tell time right off the bat. And by the way, in Mr. Morrow's class, or Dr. Morrow, and his wife was also taught there, uh, we did actually read Dick and Jane. And we'd sit in a circle and we each person would read 
I picked up reading real fast because there was a lot of pictures in those books. I could relate to the pictures, but I wasn't as good as relating to the words. But when they were side by side, I remembered them. They've torn this school down. They, they tore the high school down. And then we started going to W.W. W. Samuel when we reached our teenager years. So that was the high school I graduated from, W.W. W. Samuels. But there were people that graduated from Buckner High. And I have a, several paintings of, that I'll be showing you. Actually, there's a painting on the wall back there. It's of the moon. And I did a book on uh, called Sunday Afternoon Walk on the Moon. And I'll, I'll show you that book sometime. Do you guys have a great day? And here's an apple for you.